everyone, Silicat2 here. Welcome back to more Mega Man Battle Network 2. In the last episode, we took on a bunch of Net Navvies and S-ranked all of them. Now, you may be wondering, what the heck are we doing in Kodo area? We are doing this! Meet Quick Man 2! There's not much to say about him. He is pretty easy, as he only has 600 HP. Therefore, a Life Sword 3 should make quick work of him. <laughs> Booyah. Three second delete for the win. Once we've done that, you can jack out and then get back heck into Kodo area, and you will be able to fight Quick Man 3. This promises to be a lot more interesting, as he now throws his boomerang in a figure 8 pattern. Which is obviously a little bit annoying. As it makes him very unpredictable. And also very hard to hit. While he's dashing around! Okay, time to gator him while he's dashing around like that. And we got the Quick Man 2 chip, which is part of what I came here for. We have run into him again in the very next net battle. How awesome is that? But again, Gator makes quick work of him. Or short work of him. Whichever you prefer to use. S rank. Next up is Cutman in Yum Area One, Yum Land Area One, I believe. I was mistaken; he is in Yum Land Area Two, but that does not mean he is any less easy to take out. Yeah, yeah, enough with the scissors. That's like Victini's thing now. It may have been your thing ten years ago, but now it is not. Ah, ha, ha, ha. There we go. S ranked him, and I think I will go get his version 2 chip while I'm still here. Got it. Okay, next up, and I should probably jack out for this next one, is Magnet Man, whom we have not even fought in his version 2 battle yet. So we are going to do that instead. A good strategy for him would be to use the flamethrower to get his HP down to 900 and then strike with Gator. Found him. And as you can see, he has 1800 HP, meaning that two Gators should be sufficient to take him out without all that fancy maneuvering we had to deal with in his version 2 version. Make sure you dodge his stuff, because that stuff is painful. Okay, got his version 3 chip, but I didn't S rank him, so I'll be right back. S rank! And version 2 chip! Okay, finally, Freeze Man! See you in Undernet 7! Here we go. Okay, I'm not exactly confident in my ability to win this fight, but, eh, in a heat style, but I will sure as heck try.
The key is to get him to drop his ice shield and then strike him with Gator. Like that. That should be sufficient for an S rank. Yep, S rank. That's everyone, but I think I'm gonna try and get his version 2 chip as well since I'm here. Whoa! Super rare virus! I'm not sure what this virus drops, but it's gotta be good. It's a super rare virus. So let's take him out! We didn't get his chip. Ah! Here he is again. Ah! Okay, got that chip. Now it is time to jack out. Save. And head for World 3 area again. First order of business, Pharaoh Man. He is not at this dead end. What the heck? Where is he? Nope. Can't escape. Yeah. I'm not doing too well. <laughs> Where is he? Seriously, where? Ack! Where is Pharaoh, man? Oh, one of these guys. Dealing with you, so bye bye. And now I'll life sword that guy when I get the chance. Oops. <laughs> I am stupid. There we go. Electric blade should be the trick. Assuming I don't miss. Where is he? Why can I not find him? Found him. That being said, let's see if we can take him out. Easily. That, that will be done, given how much HP he has, and given all those coffins he has standing in our way, but... We'll try. Oops, <laughs> I meant to add there. <laughs> Stupid. Well, so far we've done it without taking very much damage. If 
we can S rank this guy, we can S rank the version 3 version. And we got a 9. That's fine. That's not what we, that's not what, no, really what we came here to do. What we came here to do is... You who command Navi Legions, step forward! The door's opening! Visitors, how rare. You must have defeated Pharaoh Man. Who are you? If you're going to break in, you might try to be nicer, eh? See, it's like this. I guard Napalm Man's turf. So I'm supposed to take out anyone that makes it in here. Not that many people do make it this far. Mega Man, watch that guy. But what's up with Pharaoh Man losing to a bunch of kids? Ah oh, well, this will be fun. I need a bit of exercise anyway. Well, shall we get on with it, as they say? A battle to the death! Land, here he comes! This is Napalm Man! I don't really remember how this guy fights. It's been a long time since I've fought him. But obviously he has guns, and we should watch out for guns. This guy is a callback to Mega Man 5. Like so many of like so many other navvies in this game that are callbacks to Mega Man Classic. And I am dying here. So it's a good thing I saved. I missed! I'm gonna use all of these aqua blades instead of just wasting them. Ouch. Assuming I get a chance to hit him, because he's so fast. Oof. Okay, well we got him, but just barely. <sighs> Not bad. I see why Pharaoh Man did it now. Yes, got skills, boy. You must be the chosen one. Chosen one. Welcome to World 3, Area 3. This cube cannot be opened without a triple S license. So yeah, if that cube is anything to go by, we're going to be needing a uh triple S license if we want to get much farther. Ouch. Protecto 2s. Ack. We are not properly equipped to deal with Protecto 2s. <laughs> um, so with that being said, I think maybe it would be best if we just backed out of this area and prepared ourselves a bit more. So between episodes, I will be doing that. There's one program in advance in particular I think we're going to need if we want to make it through this area safely. So I will be getting that program in advance. In the meantime, if you like this part, subscribe to my videos, big yellow button up top, give me a thumbs up down below this video, and be sure to check out my other stuff. This is Silicat2, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. See you later.